We'll take a quick look at this Olympus Infinity Stylus Epic DLX camera. This is the famous one with the large aperture 35mm f2.8 lens. Um, and this one is serial number 6276483. It's in quite nice condition. It has the DLX uh, marking on it and on the back. The DLX is primarily because of this panoramic switch I believe. And if we were to open it up we can see that the panoramic bars do in fact open and close. And we have a display here. I have verified that with a battery in it, there's no battery included in the sale, but with the battery in I was able to set the date and the time, was able to uh, vary the format of the date by pushing these buttons here and we can see that happened. There's the time and there's back to the date the way I had it displayed. Um, what we'll do is put it through its paces by loading in a roll of scrap film and just seeing that it does perform. So I'll put the film in on the side Pull the leader across into where it indicates where it's supposed to go down in there for loading. We'll close the back. We hear it winding. Okay, so now if I open this, it should show ready to take picture number one. And we will fire that off. And there we saw it. The lens moved out and took the picture, and we can see there it flashed. I can change the flash modes down here. Here now there's an eye showing, so it should flash a bunch of times you know, in a pre-flash for avoiding the red eye issue, and there we saw that work. And then we can go here to no flash, which will just take pictures with no flash. And we get a different angle of the lens moving in and out here. And what I'm going to, well, let's test the timer here also. So there, they're showing the timer. Then when we push this button, then we can see this little red light came on right here. And as it gets closer and closer to the time, to take the picture there, now it's blinking. And then it came out and took the picture for delayed action. So that's a neat feature. And so now what I'm going to do is just waste the rest of these pictures as fast as I can because it's scrap film. I just want to verify the film transport is working well. Now we're up to 16. Turns up to 20, so I should do just a few more. Twenty-four was a twenty-four exposure roll. So we got twenty-five, twenty-six. Now oh, on there it reached the end. So now it'll start automatically rewinding, counting back down, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two, and it'll run all the way. The motor sounds healthy, sounds good. If I close the cover, it continues to rewind, but it shuts off the display. And there it's just about done. And I heard it pull free, so now the motor should automatically shut off. And now it's showing E for empty. So now we know it's safe to open the back and if this were a real roll of film we could take this out and have it processed. We look just a little bit more. The front cover slides nicely. Clicks in place. Just a little little gouge right there. Very minor. Really in very good condition. Now if we open the battery compartment 
Now I can take this out, it'll clear the clock memory, but just wanted to show it's nice and clean and clear and there's no problem. Battery door closes. So, very nice, highly respected point-and-shoot camera.